today is the day we're going to set these brackets and screw them down. They are all in a nice straight line on the corner of the cabin top. So the one down on the ground, I'll line up that way. Spacing fore and aft. I'm going to have to establish where to put this one on the bottom. And then I'll equally space them from there. I can't put this one on the bottom until I put these because I need to put a string line. Ooh, look at the fog. So I guess for starters I need to fasten the one in the very front. And from there we'll, we'll uh, pull some strings. According to my four foot level the boat is floating level side to side. Put the level on the handrail in the front and the back. And so I have two posts set or sitting there. The first one is on a base that has screws in it. The one in the back is just sitting. I have them pulled level with these little pieces of rope. I have a string that's going to run down the side of them. And that's how I'm going to align up this tall post that sits in the back. I'm going to hold the string and the level at the same time. This was kind of tricky. Um, what I did was I set the post, I put my toe on the base plate so it wouldn't move, and then I leveled it with a four foot level, and then I looked at the string to see where I was, and then I would adjust the base plate and hold it again with my toe, and I kept playing with it, and I got it where I wanted it, but the post is so tall, and the base in relation is so small, it was hard to keep the base from moving when I got it where I wanted it, but uh, all I had to do was get a pencil mark on the floor, and once I got the pencil mark, then I could take the uh, tall post out of the uh, base plate and screw the base plate down, and uh, that's what we did. So now I'm on the port side. The front post is set permanently. The bottom screwed down, and it's pulled with the string to level. This back post is set in an arbitrary position and with the help of a block of wood and a C-clamp and some string, it is pulled level. I'm going to pull my string to set the tall post, but in this case, the front to back position is established because I'm matching this one, which is screwed down. So all I have to do this time is get the side to side position and that'll be done by holding the string and the level at the same time. I have a pair of the shorter posts cut to final length, which is 6'7", which gives us 6 foot 6 clearance on top of the cabin. And I want to cut all the other posts to match that one. Um, the problem with the long post is that the back of the cabin is sloped. I can't get it up next to the uh, correct length post. So I set it and roughly leveled it, and I'm marking it with the 4 foot level. I'm uh, the long post is too long, so I'm measuring the distance between the long post and the short post. And I'm going to take it down and whack it off the bottom and put it back. And that should be the finished height of the long post. I did the same thing on both sides. So now what I end up with is the two short posts in the front corners are correct and the two long posts are correct. The rest I will cut um, after I get these set. We'll pull a string and mark and cut the rest of them. Okay, so it took a little doing, but both of the rear posts, the tall ones, are level both ways. They're the right height, and I've got this three-quarter galvanized pipe laying across to get the uh, little brackets lined up with each other. So this is where they're going to go, period. 
I'm going to go ahead and cut and try to fit the braces. I'm going to brace them to this back deck. This will be uh, permanent stuff, except that I haven't put caulk under the foot because everything's so wet this morning. As the day dries out, I'll uh, take those the little feet off and caulk them good and put them back. In. I'm going to use these, this stainless steel tube, and it was a bimini top on another boat where the braces to hold the aluminum verticals vertical and I'm going to put them in the vise and see if I can't straighten them without damaging them. And the answer is no, I was not able to straighten them without damaging them. I could kind of minimize the damage and make them pretty good but no matter how hard I tried there were always little kink marks at the um, where I bent them in the vise even though I had my soft copper jaws in the vise pretty tough to bend this stuff I guess they're bent in a in a jig somewhere whoever made them I got them close This is a little crude, but I was uh, using a maul, the head of a maul and my hammer to flatten the ends where I could drill them and bend the ends to make the right angle. Uh, it actually, by the time I flattened them and drilled them and put the um, flap wheel on them and cleaned them up, they look pretty good. But you have to be careful to get the seam. These are not seamless tubes. These are seamed. you got to get them in the middle because if you try to bend them with the seam toward the edge they'll split with the maul for a backup I'm able to um, make these little curves fit the uh, aluminum pipe pretty good I, I don't want anything sharp that a small child might get their hands stuck on or tear a piece of clothing or whatever I got them really smooth at this point the two main columns are complete except for I still need to caulk the base plates but I've got a side to side brace and it is screwed into the cabin top and it is probably my weak link because there appears to be only half inch plywood behind this fiberglass. I thought there was a 2x4 but there's not so I'm probably going to address this with a plate and multiple screws because I don't really trust that. Um, the side piece went into a 2 by. it's very strong and additionally all the other columns will be braced off of the uh, handrail so front to back I think we got plenty of strength um, I can take my spacer pipe down now and move it up to the front and start addressing the two front columns we use this piece of stainless flat bar to take care of my weak link screw which has in fact already stripped one of them has so um, uh, I picked a piece that was thick enough that I can drill it and tap it and the bolt will go through there that holds the stainless steel tubing and then I'll have room to put probably four screws into the wood make it a little stronger
filling out the four screw holes to one quarter inch. switching to a number seven bit which is a standard size bit for drilling to tap a quarter by 20 hole. I drill the center hole with a number seven bit, which is the proper size bit for a quarter by 20 tap. But these taps are really hard and therefore really brittle. And I've broken many of them and it just felt like it was going to break before it would go through this thick stainless. Stainless is a, a pain to uh, tap. So I ended up re-drilling it 1 64th bigger and it still felt like it was going to break. So I redrilled again another 64th bigger and that I was able to tap that. Um, so I'm ending up with threads that are not very deep as far as the pitch of the thread. I think that's the right term. But anyway, I have a lot of them because this material is half inch thick. So I'm really confident that the bolt is not going to strip out of this uh, little bracket. Okay, I got them both tapped all the way through without breaking the tap. And now I have a bolt threaded through the hole, um, a full threaded bolt, and I'm going to cut the end off so it'll be the right length. So my weak link here was an important connection, so I went ahead and uh, beefed it up before having trouble with it breaking. Did both sides. So the front columns are set level and I have the pipe going across to keep them lined up and it falls on amazingly. It falls on the same marks that the back pipes were on. So my top will be the same width front to back, which makes it easier. Um, as far as bracing it front to back, I think I'm going to attach this vertical to this handrail because this handrail is lag bolted up under there to a 2 by it's very strong front to back maybe not side to side but front to back same with this side and then I'll have to put a brace this way okay today the Sun one I'm done I'm not through but I'm done so the front pole is leveled plumb and braced off and the back pole is leveled plumb and braced off and the front and the back were cut to height so I pulled a string across the top of them and got measurements cut these two side poles to length and I have the brackets installed so they are just standing there they need to be they need to be plumbed off and braced and on this side I had a little accident let me show you so I set my bracket over here and it didn't fit very well. So I brought it over to my little makeshift anvil and got the hammer and tried to bend it and it broke. So I tried to bend this thing with a hammer and a maul and it didn't bend but it broke. So I'm going to try to weld it back and if it doesn't weld back I'll have to cast another one but I'm pretty sure to weld. This is aluminum angle they used to put on the side of the company pickup trucks kind of protect the trucks and I pulled two pieces out of the trash and I've been sitting on them for years and years and now I'm going to cut them up to make the uh, little bracket so I cut up that angle into these brackets which are going to connect the post to the handrail 
and my weld repair on the bracket that I broke with the mall is good. So it'll go back on tomorrow morning. It's a new day. I've got the last two feet installed. The one I welded yesterday seems to be fine, except it's no longer painted. And I've also cut and fit also cut and fit the first two brackets to connect the post to the handrail um, all I had to do was rip it down a little bit because it was a little too wide now side to side this is not going to gain us a lot because the handrail is not the strongest in the world side to side but front to back this uh, handrail is fastened securely there by the time I get all three of these attached to the handrail with the same bracket that's gonna be big big in the strength department I went with straight on each side seems to be pretty strong now I have my string pulled front to back and get the length of these two columns get them set and start putting the little brackets to the handrails columns are installed almost 100% um, they all have base plates all the base plates are screwed down they all night now <clears throat> They all now have a bracket to the handrail. This one needs to be trimmed. It's sticking out a little far. They all have brackets to the handrail. They're all the right spread apart at the top and they're all lined up with each other. So what we're going to do now is take some measurements and then hose off all these metal filings I got on the boat. And I guess I got to go buy some aluminum to build the top. I don't have anything left. 